Welcome back to my channel. So, I figured I would try something different because my son is in middle school now and he has to wake up so early. So I figured between the time that he wakes up and that my youngest wakes up is a perfect time to start making videos. So I'm gonna try, I'm gonna try it. I don't know, I don't know how it's gonna work. Um, but today I am doing a review on this. This is a U-part wig from Wild African and it's called the U uh, UCS17. And it's got a comb right here and right here for wherever you want to place to secure wherever you're going to put your part. I would recommend braiding the area so that your combs have a little bit more something to hook into because I didn't do that. And my hair is really weird when it's pressed out. It's really silky and it doesn't hold anything. So I just pressed my leave out and I left the rest natural. So I'm going to go ahead and put this on. And then we're gonna see how it goes, okay? So I got my wig cap on. I think I'm going, first I'm gonna go ahead and secure the back. Ah! Right, so now, <laughs> I didn't know how I was gonna blend it, so I just braided it, but it looks like my stinking hair was so loose. I mean, wow, that was quick. So I'm just gonna wand curl. <laughs> ah! I think a hair length video will be coming soon. But you know what, I'm probably gonna wait till it gets a little bit cooler because I straightened Danny's hair for school and it's a wrap already. <laughs> it's like the second, it's like the fifth day of school and her hair already went back to normal. So the only thing that I can think of doing is wand curling. So I'm gonna let my curls cool down and then I'm gonna, I'm gonna return to that. I'm gonna come back to that. I'm gonna get my makeup done. I forgot to put my nails on. <laughs> so first, we're going to attack these brows. I posted a picture on my Instagram not too long ago about mm, the way my body is changing. I've been lifting. I love lifting. Lifting is my form of working out. I do not like cardio. I do not like running. I cannot run. I like to jog every now and then. But weightlifting, I've definitely seen a lot of improvement in my body composition, um, it just takes a long time for you to see results. But you can feel the results a lot quicker. What's going on with my eyebrow? There's always one that's better than the other one. Like this one goes to Bible study and this one smokes cigarettes in a girl's bathroom. <sighs> oh my gosh, I've had it for so long it died. I killed it. I'm looking at a skeleton right now. Okay, there we go. Oh. Now you know what, what is this? Gorilla Glue. One of the things that I like to do now is I like to contour underneath, but let me put some primer on first. So I like to contour underneath my eyebrows because that's what they did in the 80s and it made life so much more dramatic. And I'll show you what I'm talking about. But I put it over here under my Drama! She's sunken in her eye. Can you see the difference? Oh my gosh, I can see the difference. I can go the distance. Going in with Fez up. And I'll put that everywhere, okay? All over, everywhere, drama, drama. Then you gotta make it match. I'm going into Sahara Stunna, and I'm just gonna blend that out. crazy like like that boom done and you got time so now I'm gonna do a highlight underneath my eyebrow going with a dark brand and like deep and stuff up then we're gonna go in with yeah right in the middle. Drama, drama, 
dramatical. So you clean out a little bit of this fallout. Dance, dance. Now it's time for mascara. All right, so now that my eyes are almost done, I'm gonna go ahead and throw on my lashes. And these are Ace Adora lashes. Boom. Oh, eight. Look how like nice and full. And they're so thick and so dramatic. Cut them to fit my eye shape. Oh my gosh, they're so thick. They're so thick. And they feel so soft. Alright, maybe a little bit more of a cut. She's cute over here. But she's also cute over here. Alright, so I'm gonna go ahead in with my can't stop, won't stop, Rockefeller breakfast cookie. Look at them, baby. This is Warm Mahogany and NYX's Matte Finish. 24 hours of madness. Now, you know what? I I don't know. I don't know. If I got just that special kind of face or something, but my face gets super, super oily, and I wish. I wish a foundation would last for 24 hours. I have not met one that has ever, I mean, they claim to, and maybe they might keep me a little bit less oily, but it, but, but, it hasn't happened yet. Okay. But I do like this foundation because the coverage is total. And I like full coverage. And I was getting a makeover one time and this woman, she told me, she was like, Michelle, why? Why do you need full coverage? You have good skin. And I'm like, well, I like feeling like if I had a tattoo on my face, I could cover it up with this foundation, okay? I don't know why, that's just how I am. Like, this is the sun, do you see? <laughs> it's very bright today. Go ahead. This part. Shoop, 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 say shoop. So yeah, I've been working out, I've been in the gym. I posted a picture on my Instagram about my progress so far and the fact that I am really, you know, I just got to a point where I was like, I was getting annoyed with the scale and I would get on the scale and I was using the scale numbers as like a gauge to how um, dedicated I was, I was to this whole journey, and that if I hadn't lost weight, then obviously I must be slacking in some department, and I wasn't giving it my all, and that was really starting to affect my, it was affecting my, you know, my desire to even want to continue this thing, because everybody who's tried to lose weight knows that mess is hard, and it doesn't happen overnight, and it doesn't matter if you spend a whole week in the gym, you're not gonna see results. You have to spend weeks in the gym. And you can't just, you can't just eat anything you want and it's like dedication. And I found encouragement online um, and through other women who are lifting in the gym and stuff. So I decided that I was going to say bye bye to my, um, my scale, my husband still weighs himself. He weighs himself a lot, so sometimes I be like, I know I put the scale up, devil. Yeah, so I, I, I do weigh myself because I am curious, but I'm going by how I fit, and it's so funny, but back in March was when I took a progress picture, um, because, you know, I lost a lot of weight. I was 240, um, and now I'm 195, but my body looks completely different, and the clothes that I'm wearing are a lot smaller than the clothes that I could wear when I was 185 and I wasn't lifting as much. That was when I was going to the gym twice a week with my personal trainer, Sean, and I was not giving it my all. She was killing me in the gym and the gym kind of became like a torture chamber and I didn't want to go back because now I love the gym. I go there for, I go there not only because I want to be physically fit, but because it's a nice solace for me. It's like a, a nice place to just go and just, relax and, and, well not relax, but <laughs> kill myself in the gym, but feel like I'm working on my mental health as well as my physical health. So anyway, 
I want to give a special shout out to Buxom. Thank you, Buxom, for all my beautiful lip plumpers. So they have this new, um, they have this new product out, and it's called uh, Creamy Lip Plumping Lip Powder. It's a lip powder, so I'm gonna see how it applies. But it's called Pillow Pout. Pillow Pout. And they gave me their colors. So for this look. I think I'm going to try, I don't, I don't know, let's see, let's try this one. This is, seduce me, what? All right, so let me go ahead and get this stuff off. I don't feel like getting up, so I'm about to turn one of these into a cheek blush, Sahara. I choose you. I'm gonna use Mirage as my highlight. I like it. Lip plumping lip powder. I'll tell you what. What are they going to come up with next? Fabulous. And she's done. So let me go ahead and finish this off. You know what's the funniest thing? I'm going to go to the gym after this. So what am I going to do? They're going to think I'm crazy. I'm walking in there with all this makeup on. Although I do see some girls wearing a lot of makeup to the gym. I never understand it. I'm going to add a little bit of shine. And this is Ultra Glossy Lip Shayla Colourpop. Lip powder is something else. Okay, Buxom. And it's like you can make it darker because it's a powder. Alright, so let me go ahead and hit up my bottom lashes real quick because I always forget to do them. So, let me get these edges right. I'm not going to do too much because I don't have much to do with. So, I'm going to use my girl Lovely Brianna. She's got her own edge control gel and I'm using her Lovely Bees. You can check her out. I will put the link in the description box below so you guys can get the hookup. And we're gonna try to do something with these edges, right type quick. And I'm gonna use my favorite, favorite edge brush. Cause it makes it look like you know what you're doing. So like I said before, this is a U-part wig. She's 100% Indian Remy, and she's in the deep wave curl pattern, and the color is jet black. She is 20 inches and 120% density and affordable girl. Thank you guys so much for watching. All the information about this hair and the makeup that I'm wearing is going to be in the description box below. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.